Hey everyone, welcome back to another fa- Wait a second. Another Figma tutorial. Today we'll be creating these cool uh, dog animations right here in Figma along with this website as well. So without further ado, let's just get started with this tutorial. The first step we need to do is of course, create an artboard. For that, I'll just click on A and when we are here, I have a lot of other options right here in the side panel. But for my case, I just want a 1920 by 1080 artboard. Now that I have a 1920 by 1080 artboard ready to go, the first thing that I need to do is create a layout grid so that we can place everything that we want. And in this case, I'll just click on the artboard and on the right, I have this layout grid option. I'll click on the plus icon right here. And inside the grid, you'll see there's this square grid. We don't really want that. If I click on this square grid right here, I can always change it from grid to columns right here. And in this case, I want the following settings, 12 count, 200 pixels of margin and 32 pixel grid, 32 pixel gutter width. Let's quickly write down the text, which is uh, adopt a and the adopt a will be a different text and puppy will be a different text. So the font I'm using for this big display text is called Playfair Display. So if I just click on Playfair Display and that's about it, that's the font we need. And I'll pretty much make it 100 pixels or 100 points on the font right here. I'll change it from regular to, in this case, I want it to be bold. Now that we have the title here, let's actually put down the puppies. Uh, if I go to my browser, of course, if you want to watch my last video, you can do that as well. New Morphic Animations in Figma. I'll give a link in the description. As you can see, I, I took this little pup from pexels.com and the other puppy was from a random video on YouTube. There is a, this cool resource called unscreen.com and on unscreen you can basically remove the background from any video as you can see here and then replace it with whatever you like. And in this case I'll just upload clip and it will ask me for the dog that I had seen and in this case I'll probably uh, you know copy one of these dogs, yes this dog and I'll just say open, it will say preparing upload and it will process the video for you. You don't really have to do any work. And as you can see, once this is processed, it will look like this. The dog will have a transparent background and will still animate. Frames in this, I just want to click on download, nothing else. And it will composite and download a GIF file for you. Once it's downloaded this GIF, you just have to go back to Figma and in this case, I can just go to my downloads folder or wherever I have this and I'll just copy this GIF from, I'll just drag this GIF from my folder onto Figma right here. As you can see, Figma automatically dis detects this as a GIF and I think that is pretty cool. I'll just horizontally flip it just by clicking on Shift H to flip it horizontally and that's about it. Probably make it slightly, uh, make the dog slightly bigger and place him on the right here. Now this was the easy part. Now comes a slightly tricky part of creating the actual box on which these guys were standing on. Now this puppy looks really cute here, but we want something for it to stand on. In my original video, we saw a pink or a blue box. In this case, I will create a basic rectangle like this here. I go to the plugins on the left and inside the plugins, I have a plugin called Roto. If you haven't downloaded it yet, just go to just go to Figma and search for Roto. And if you have a rectangle like this selected, Roto will basically create a 3D rotated box just like this. So in this case, I might want 15 degrees uh, on the horizontal axis and 45 is fine. So now that we have a box like this ready to go, we can always change the angle at which, which we are looking at it. And in this case, I might give an angle like this. Mm, perfect. I'll press OK and that's about it. You have your cube prepared right here. Now this isn't a perfect, this isn't perfect 3D. It's not, it's just pseudo 3D. And for this tutorial, it's fine. We'll give this little pup a good platform to stand on. And we can always change the color of it from 
whatever color to whatever color that we like. And in this case, I'll maybe probably make it a red uh, since I made it a blue in the previous video and this light red looks good. To give the dog a shadow as well, we'll just click on O on our keyboard and we'll have this, we can just drag out to create a basic, um, I don't know what this is called, but a basic flat circle is what I'm calling and just give it a black fill. And under effect, if I click on this plus icon, uh, I click on this drop shadow and under this I click on layer blur, I can change the layer blur to about, I don't know, 100. And as you can see, it spreads out just like this. Probably make this 50% on the opacity and we'll have a light uh, shadow to give this puppy a little bit of depth. Now that we have something to go for, let's just try it out in our preview. Uh, I'll click on this preview button on the top right or present button and it will open in another tab. That's about it. And if I just decrease, um, if I can just decrease it to fit scale down to fit. As you can see, we have this little puppy sitting here on this red box with a little bit of depth given to it as well. If you just fine tune it and make it slightly better, you'll be able to get a better result as I did with my original video. You can probably check me out on Twitter and if you have anything to share, you can just hit me up at Puneet Web and I'll probably reply to it as well. So I hope you liked today's tutorial. If you did, go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up. I appreciate it. And also subscribe to the channel because I... And also subscribe to the channel. I really want to reach that 20,000 mark by end of next month. So without... I'll see you every Monday and Thursday. God bless.